Okay, we're back here live, day two of SAP Sapphire live in Orlando. This is SiliconANGLE and Wikibon's exclusive coverage of SAP Sapphire Now. This is theCUBE, our flagship program where we go out to the events and we extract the signal from the noise. We're here all day today, we'll be here tomorrow. We'll talk to whoever we can that has that signal, executives from SAP, companies, entrepreneurs, architects, developers, they're all here and we're on the ground getting all the data. I'm John Furrier, joined with Jeff Kelly from Wikibon.org, research analyst on big data. Uh, Jeff, uh, day two kicking off, day one was a solid day yesterday, um, great day. What's your takeaway uh, from yesterday and what are you looking for for today? Well, I think, uh, so my takeaway from yesterday is uh, you know, steady as she goes. SAP is very focused on uh, on their message around HANA as the kind of foundational technology upon which all their applications and their entire suite uh, of tools will be built and, and, and in some cases migrated to. Uh, you know, certainly a lot of focus on customers. We saw a lot of uh, end users, practitioners, uh, telling their stories uh, that continued this morning with uh, Snobbe's keynote. Um, so, you know, I expect to see some more of that today, but some of the other focus areas we're looking at are around mobility. Uh, there was, uh, SAP made a, an announcement around a new offering called uh, SAP Mobile Secure around securing and managing devices, mobile devices in, uh, in the enterprise. Uh, so we will be covering that today. Uh, very interested to hear how that, uh, the approach that they take, balancing some of the control and privacy issues, or I should say control and security issues that IT is interested in when it comes to mobile devices and BYOD. Uh, balancing that with making your employees as effective and productive as possible with mobile devices. And then of course, just the whole cloud story. Uh, another announcement today from SAP around uh, making some applications work seamlessly across devices from the cloud. So uh, those are a couple of the angles we'll be looking at today and of course more, more HANA coverage and kind of how that plays into all of the announcements. The uh, big story obviously today is Jim um, and Schnabe gave the keynote and the keynote was obviously impressive. Schnabe, CUBE alumni has been on uh, the CUBE, thinks it's a huge concept, uh, love it. He's great, and he's a co-CEO, Jeff, and one of the things I'm impressed with him is that they, they accomplished it. Bill McDermott is really an ex excellent executive on the execution side. Shinabe is kind of the product czar uh, here at SAP, and one of the things he talked about in his keynote, that was, it's a recurring theme, is resources. Running out of resources. He said he believes we'll run out of resources and must optimize technology. Um, that's an interesting, because we had a sustainability conversation, and it's not so much a sustainability conversation, but it's about virtualization. We heard from HANA about limiting servers, the benefits of um, virtualizing SAP from with the EMC folks on, and, and ultimately, you know, you virtualize uh, SAP, you reduce the server license, and that's going to be a good advantage over, say, Oracle, for instance, their competitor. So that's obviously interesting. Obviously, Amazon.com and uh, AWS has uh, proven that resource management using elastic type computing and storage is what people want, and that ultimately is a telltale sign of what Schnabe is talking about. The other thing that Schnabe was talking about in his keynote is the notion of change. He kind of quotes some Darwinism things uh, and, and resources again, and, and, and not so much a product pitch as, as usual, but more of a kind of a high level um, overview from Schnabe. And ultimately, you know, this idea of change and only the strongest survive is kind of like how they look at SAP. SAP is in transition specifically around the cloud, and that's really their core area that they're working on right now. Obviously, Han is a big element of that. It's not just a database, as we heard yesterday from John Appleby, but obviously, SAP has things all checked off. All the boxes are checked, mobile solid. Um, obviously, analytics is a big message. It's been going on for multiple years. They have Ariba Networks, which is a big acquisition. That's kind of taking shape as business networks, and obviously, the mobility. So, checking the boxes on the big data front. Where they're weak is cloud, and the story's exactly. not really coming together. So, you know, clearly they have <laughs> they don't want to cannibalize their own stall base, but Jeff, I mean, they're pretty poised for big data, obviously with analytics and HANA, when we heard yesterday HANA is not just for SAP customers, but for people who don't have SAP. So again, the analytics is their big data play and cloud. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, you know, HANA is a, good, a very good solid product that's helping uh, SAP customers, their install base, and uh, increasingly hap helping uh, some uh, developers build applications uh, to take advantage of real-time performance. Um, I think 
one of their weaknesses, and we'll talk with David Floyer a little bit more about this later today, um, two things. So one around big data, while HANA is very uh, effective and a, a solid product for some of the real-time analytic applications that uh, the SAP core install base wants to, want, needs to run, um, you know, there's still a little bit of question about uh, using other types of processing capabilities and storage capabilities like flash technology. Um, you know, I, have, I still have questions about where other technologies like Hadoop fit in to SAP strategy. Um, HANA, again, a good product, but it is not a, uh, you know, a big data platform, uh, not a foundational technology for a, for a comprehensive big data platform like a Hadoop might be. Um, so those are some questions I have around big data, around cloud. Uh, well, there, as we mentioned yesterday, their HANA offering in the cloud. Um, it appears to me, uh, from what I've heard and from customers I've talked to, to be more of a hosted offering, not really a true cloud offering uh, that offers that elasticity uh, that you associate with cloud offerings. So uh, we'll, we'll try to get some more answers today on those two fronts uh, from SAP. Hey, we are here live inside the Global Communication Center here at Sapphire Now. This is Orlando, Florida. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We are on the ground, broadcasting live, and behind us you can see some things moving around. We're going to be broadcasting live the press conference from the co-CEOs. I'm going to ask them some pointed questions. I want to get to the bottom of this cloud, where the cloud is going, and find out what's, what's happening with these guys. And we're going to try to get uh, Bill McDermott and Schnabe on theCUBE. We're going to try to grab them. Uh, we do whatever we can. Wherever the action is, we're going to mm -hmm. try to get the best people possible to uh, share that content with you. This is theCUBE. We'll be back with more day two coverage after this short break. <laughs>